Hi, I'm Lynn Jordan, and today I'm bringing you exciting news. Last week's Pseudo-Write, which is the first and premier tool for using AI to write fiction, just made a whole bunch of us very, very happy. Since the beginning, we've been saying we want more room for certain fields. And what they did last week is they unveiled new character fields and room building fields. I'll show you what that looks like right now. We go into a project. If you have projects, you can convert them right away or you can wait, create a new project. It will be the new format right away. If I hop down here to characters, I have nothing in this project. I just started. I can add the characters. It generates the characters the way it always has. However, look at this customized. You can include more boxes, more specific boxes. Here I have age, physical description, strengths and weaknesses, motivations and goals, my grid, personality traits, dialogue, tone of voice, backstory. And I added species because I'm using this for a shifter book. So I want my shifters to have species. I can add more traits. I can print the traits. And I made a mistake. I made my species a new default. So it comes up now on every one of them. What I need to do is I need to take it off and I need to set a new default. Now, when I am doing a shifter book, all I have to do is I have to come down here and click add and add species again. But it won't show up on my other books unless I deliberately add it in. Um, so if you say new to false, that means it's your account wide. If you only add it to the current ones, that means it only works on this project. So it gives us plenty of room. Let's take a look at world building. It's the same thing. You can customize it or you can use some of their defaults. We have setting, organization, or key events, course. That would be if you're running a mystery, uh, magic systems, items, technology, government, economy, culture, religion, and you can do custom. And that will let you add a custom field to all of this. So to show you how that works in reality, Unless you've already jumped off to go try your own project. Uh, this is a shifter test. I come down here in my story Bible. I can pull up my characters. And I have Ryder Montgomery. I'm able to label him as protagonist. Uh, list his pronouns. He belongs to the Rocky Bow Fall Search and Rescue Team. Okay. So that way... You have the team defined. It doesn't work as well as we had hoped, but I think it will in the future. But for now, you have a team. You have to at least put your names. And then it gives a place for other names. It gives his physical descriptions, yes. his strengths and weaknesses, his motivation and goals, his Myron Briggs, his personality, tone and dialogue. And his backstory, and his species is a ship. Then I have, she's our heroine, our love interest. She's a journal. She has the same descriptions, the same description field. You can have it generated for you, or you can bring your own characters and plop them in here. It works either way. Her species is human because this is one that has species in it. So I have all my characters listed out. You can have as many characters as you want, I believe up to 2,000. And if you have 2,000, you're writing more than four a piece, I think. It should, this should be fun. And you can duplicate projects so you can have the same cast for, say, a seat, which is, of course, what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you world building. And here I have the, I have Rocky Falls, which is the town. It tells us it's a place, scent of pine or water cascading. It's also a shifter sanctuary. It's an isolated region by dense forests. 
accessible only by narrow winding roads. Has plenty of hiking trails. It tells us a little bit about the search and rescue team that's set. It was founded by shifters and it only has shifters. The traditions and customs of the community. And I can add more by one. I thought I had their headquarters. Oh, here's a hit. Yes. It's part of the search and rescue description. We've got the goals, the history, and then this is what the headquarters would look like. As it generates pros, it's going to look at all these fields. Now, if you're going to cite the boring, that's just for fantasy or paranormal. And I don't write that. I write straight fiction. What I'm going to show you now is how it works. And I happen to have a romantic suspense. Look at it. So with the romantic suspense, and then story Bible. Characters is pretty much the same. I've got Jane Donovan, which of course that name has to change. I've got his physical description, strengths, weaknesses, motivations, personality. He also has a species because remember I had, I set the global variable. And then I have Lily. Uh, I, it called her human. I don't know why it didn't call Jane. Human. Your characters are the same, no matter what kind of book you're writing. With each book, you can change which features they have, what characteristics you have for them, but characters work the same. However, in world building, if we look over here, this is a motorcycle thing story. And it's the Iron Circle. So it tells you what their territories are, uh, tells you where it is, back alleys, non strip warehouses. And then our hero is an ATF field agent, talks about other names they call land. And we have what their field office looks like, where the building is. We have some information about the motorcycle flood itself, what their goals are, what their history was, what their headquarters look like. And our hero, Manuela, runs a garage. And so we have a description for what Lila's garage looks like. And it gives us a feel for that location because her and my hero works for the ATF. And this whole series revolves around ATF agents. We've got information about what the hero of alcohol, tobacco, and firearms explosives is and what they do, how they work. So we're able to talk about that. So no matter what kind of book you're writing, you're going to hit settings. And you're going to have cultures within that, even if you don't treat it. it's modern day, contemporary, everybody knows the culture, but you may, there's certain aspects of it you probably want to pick out and emphasize in your book. And that's what these new features give us the ability to do. So the right just runs several classes on how to use these, how to set them up. So I know you're excited about them. You can either jump in and start yourself right off the bat, or you can watch some of the classes. Nicole Broussard did classes last week on each section, filling out the characters, and she did another one on world building. No. Check those out. Also, other users have given how they use it. The staff has been very good in showing how. They've decided if they give us some little look at behind the scenes about how that might work. I encourage you to go and use it yourself. Watch the videos and study your plan. Happy writing.